Example 1 Oh, this teddy bear is so cute. Mama, isn't this teddy bear so cute? Yes, dear. Oh, thank you so much, Mom. And can I go outside to play with my friends? I haven't played with them for long. Yes, of course. Okay, thank you, Mommy. Now, second example. Mom, can I get your phone, please? Yes, sure. Oh, I love to play games. This is like the most favorite part of me the whole day. And Mom, listen. I heard my friend says that Hungry Shark is a new game online and I want to download it because I think that's interesting. Can I download a new game? Yes, sure, baby. Okay, thank you so much, Mom. So I'm downloading it and I'm going to play it right now. Stop this kind of things. The example 2 is the worst example I think in my life because this is hampering the life of children. Assalamu alaikum everyone, Zarin Tassim Piyam here again before you and today my presentation's topic is children don't get the time to play outside than inside. That means they do not get the time or they do not get a chance to play outdoors than indoors. And that indoor playing, what kind of thing does it mean? That means relating to technologies. So let's not make any kind of way things and we of course have to move on to the main discussion. Here, as I said in the first example, I was playing with a cute teddy bear and I asked my mom that mom can I go outside to play with my friends because the outside's environment, outside's nature is so refreshing, so breathtaking that I cannot wait to play with my friends outside. And in the second example, I was like, Mom, can you give me your phone? I want to play a game there. And my friend said that Hungry Shark is a new game online. I also want to download it. So, isn't this one kind of addiction? Yes, it is. And during this corona pandemic, it has been increasing, not decreasing. Okay, in this case, we have to think and evaluate that what kind of games, what kind of things, or what kind of sports are good for children. Of course, we do not have now space for playgrounds in the countries because people are making industries by getting the spaces of the playgrounds. They are not like leaving any place for the children to play or any garden or any park is there so they are decreasing day by day and you know there they do not have any places outside to go or play so from the very first generation before technology was invented or after technology was invented few years after it children used to play outside happily with teddy bears girls used to have barbies and different kinds of dolls they used to have kitchens they used to have tea parties they used to go out with their dolls they used to have different kinds of fun with their toys and people like children they were like really really fond of toys even old Older people, though they are grown ups, they were fond of toys. And yeah, never ever have you thought that a boy does not go to play cricket outside in the ground? Or have you ever thought that a boy did not go outside to play football? Or girls who like tennis, girls who like to play outside in the playground, just run along or have fun with her friends. So, does that girl have that ability right now? After the invention of technology, like the adults used to keep them away from the children because they were in a correct way, they were in the correct decision that if we give technology to the children right now, so children's lives will be in a risk because this is not suitable for them. When they reach our age, then we can give them because they can then know the necessity of technologies and how to use it. But now, children are becoming so aggressive and so excessive that they want technologies from a very younger age. You know, even I do not have my personal phone and I never consider the laptop I use for online classes as my personal one. I never have ever used in technology and called it my personal technology or I never look at the technology technology for such a long time but you know what a girl four years younger than me already has 12 iPhone Pro Max 12 iPhone Pro Max that means she has got two phones the same quality the same brand two phones and I never consider even my own laptop where I do my classes as mine 
I consider it as everyone's of the family and my mother always says the demerits and merits of using technologies and I use them according to my mom's sayings and I also read from the internet that what are the merits and demerits and according to that I work. So the girl who is younger than me and has two phones, personal phones already, isn't that thing gonna harm her? Like she has an Instagram account, a Facebook account, a Twitter account, a Messenger account, a WhatsApp account, an email account, a Viber account and what not. I know that girl is really good on social media, even on YouTube account I have seen her. And also one of my friend's little sisters, even though my friend does not have a phone, her sister forced her mother to buy her a phone and her father bought her an iPhone 6. So this is like really excessive as I say and now it is becoming really really increasing and uh, this is an example of real life guys. I'm not telling a lie. This is the truth. So guess how children are becoming these times. They are wanting their own phones, their own technologies. Yay! You can use them for proper use but not improper uses. Like if you post a photo on Instagram and that time it was your study time, then wasn't that a waste of time? That was. And even the rays of the devices of the technologies that we use today harm our brain. So we have to think of it. And the merits and demerits, when we talk about it, there are many, many. And like the demerits first, I have to say, because as I am saying, the children don't get enough time to play. So the demerits are like some websites are really harmful for children. Like I have seen a series of Mina cartoon. And in that series, Raju was playing a game online, which was owned by the hackers and soon his mobile got hacked because he gave his password his email to that game that game wanted his password and email so his phone got hacked and many websites they use cookies so when you browse something and when that option comes that this website use cookies do you agree to use cookies with this website? Do not agree. Never, never agree. I am telling you one of my life experiences few weeks ago. Few weeks ago, our phone, that means my mom's phone, was hacked. You know why and how? Okay. So maybe someone gave a message to my aunt that you have your photo here. My aunt entered that link and gave her email and phone number and thus her phone got hacked and the hacker from her phone gave that same message to our phone though we did not open it but still the, our phone was hacked so you know the hacking process got in such a high level that without giving your phone number or gmail sometimes your phones get hacked quickly if you send the messages only or the wrong links only and you know what from my phone to my sister's phone my uncle's phone my aunt's phone my relative's phone my friend's mother's phones and also not only them but also my teacher's phones the link got there and all of their phones got hacked so soon we took a step and we changed all our Facebook passwords, email passwords and others. So this is a kind of precaution that children have to be really careful as we have to use technology in this world because nothing is possible without technology in this world during right now. And during this corona pandemic, of course, we have to do classes online. So online means technology is needed 100% and we need them to do our online classes because we want to gain knowledge but not misuse them. And also, like children get really anxieties when they sit in front of any technologies for a very long time and also it creates like an addiction to them towards technologies. Also, this may cause their back pain if they sit in front of the mobile or in front of the laptop for a long time also this can create depressions so i hope you guys understood what are the demerits of using technology so much excessively and misuse them so children should get the time to play outside even though we have lots of studies when we grow each and every year older but still we should have the time to spend a bit a bit only outside 
and feel the environment and you should let the children who are like in primary levels or who are like in preschools you should let them play outside but do not give them technologies more so thank you so much everyone for watching this video until then inshallah you'll keep your children safe from those technologies let your children use the technologies but let not the technologies use your children fi amanilla see you in my next presentation আপনার সন্তান আপনার কাছে একটি স্বপ্ন একটি প্রজন্ম একটি বাংলাদেশ হ্যাঁ দেশ গড়ার প্রত্যয় প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয়েছে বস বাংলাদেশ অনলাইন স্কুল উই শেপ ফিউচার ফর অ্যাডমিশন প্লিজ কল অর এসএমএস টু 0162000420